Hi, Victor Enag. Hereby take you as my wife again. Before God and all these beautiful witnesses. Where are the witnesses? Oh, sorry. Heavenly witnesses. <laughs> I promise to be a faithful and a true husband. And with this ring, I wed you again. And all my worldly goods I endow you. In sickness, in health, in poverty and in wealth, till death do us part. Hello? Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Why sounding that way? How am I sounding? Like someone without a man. You have started. I'm just joking. I'm 29 today. I know. But when will I leave this state? Son, God is working it out. Just be at rest. Are you still coming? Yes, now. I'll be with you soon. Okay, I'm waiting. <sighs> Mommy. Have you seen me this morning? Hey, Carabba. Hey, Mommy, we did you not greet me. Ah, what's my own? You people know how you, you relate with each other now. Kilode. Ah. There's so much disrespect in this house. Wait then. Why is nobody greeting me today? What's happening today? Ha. He only asked you a question. Happy. Today is my birthday. Oh. oh. Wow. wow. <laughs> no wonder we did not remember. How? I don't know that. These days, it's tough to remember the birthday of single people. Ah, Deji! Okay. <laughs> Why now? You don't even know how to meet someone. Eh? Must you tell her that she's old, she's just too old for this marriage of a thing? Sorry. See, that's true, Esther. See, I've been waiting and waiting and waiting to the point that I'm already losing weight. Oh, yes, look at my neck. No, see my neck. I'm losing weight. Please, just go and get a man. Please, it's very important. Mommy, what has your weight loss got to do with me? Everything, oh, everything, everything. And as a matter of fact, I'm tired of waiting. Eh? I am tired of waiting, Esther. Do something. If this is the happy birthday you want to give me in this house, maybe you all should just shut up. Ah, eh? To mommy. Happy birthday, Sha. Yes, we Birthday, girl. Happy birthday, baby girl. I got you something. I got you a gift. Let's go. Hmm? Why? Let's go. Let's go out. Let's go out. Who offended you? I'm tired of this house. Still not saying anything. No? Let's go out. To so where? Go. Let's go. Where are we going? Okay. All right. All right. Let's go. I don't know. I don't know why this girl wants to give me a attention. I don't know why she wants to give me a attention. Eh? Ah, hey. It is well. It is well. It is well. Hello. 
No, Timmy Bani Kulenko. No, Esther, Timmy Bani Kulenko. Why do you want to kill me? My phone died. Oh, so because your phone is dead, now I must die. I must die because your phone is dead. I'm oh, sorry. I can't want you to die now. So how come you have a flat battery? That, that, that's, that's why she's single. Nobody can call her. See, it's all your fault, oh. It's all your fault. You can't blame him. Had it been we have known a man in your life, at least a man in your life like this, he will not be disrespecting you. Emma Binuma. Odara. There's food, though. But you have to cook it, Sha. Sha, you will not eat me. You will not eat, Abi. Eat, oh. Because if you don't have a man in your life, at least you have food. food. Man, food, you must have one. Abby. You cannot be empty. Your life cannot be empty. You need to have one out of it, too. Lord Jesus, am I not serving you enough? Why is no man coming? I'll soon be thirsty. Do something. Just do something. What's happening? What's going on? Is God angry with me? No. Then why am I still single? Why is no man coming? You should see the shame on my face when I came in. Mommy was making jest of me and Deji was adding to it. Esther. I think you're the one delaying this by not finding purpose. Everything God wants to do in your life starts when you discover purpose. I need a man. Purpose before man. When you find purpose, a man will find you. Get off my phone. Uh-uh. Hello? Hello? Alpha guy. Hello, Alpha. Alpha, now where you be? I beg, I dey come, I dey come, I dey come, I dey come. I'll meet you guys. I dey come. All right, no worry. Hi. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> guy, guy. Truth be told, you are not getting any younger. You will soon be thirty-five. Hmm. When exactly do you want to get married? This one, marriage. A person will get baby to talk about marriage now. But ask babe now. What, what of Tokwe? Tokwe. <laughs> you should be asking who is topping his league of girls. Tokwe, if you know top or not, Tokwe should number three or number five. She doesn't have what you want in a lady. Guy, I am married. Every year is a very, very tell him, tell him, tell him. unserious individual that doesn't know what to do with his life. <laughs> Really? You said the if you recommend anybody for you to be, it is hell. So tell me, what exactly do you want in a lady? See, guys, first of all, she must be fine. And second, she must be chocolate skinned. Mm. And guys, most importantly, she must have straight legs. Straight legs, straight, straight legs. As in that straight legs, legs is legs. really what I mm -hmm. like. Seriously. So, but the thing is that all the ladies that, that I've been meeting, it's either they are light skinned, yeah. with straight legs or they have chocolate skin and bull legs as in they propose propose ah. propose <laughs> guy you be like say you go carry clay last last to I, I i don't understand clay for what uh, to move your spec now <laughs> even at this spec where you carry for face no you let you see your spec well guys this, this, this guy yeah. <laughs> see there's this lady in my church choir she's so fine 
with chocolate skin and with straight legs. Oh, so whenever I see these little ladies, my heart will be doing good. That's go, go, what go, I'm go. talking about. <laughs> hey, why have you not gone to meet her now? Uh, she's married, Joe. Yeah, that's that. That's bad. I know, right? So, what exactly is the other thing that is stopping you? Mm. Because I know that as much as I want you to, to be in purpose, and to be at rest for the bone of your bone and the flesh of your flesh to come to you. But you are not getting any younger. Mm -hmm. and, and the truth is, you have been plenty. Is it the mental or... Uh, what's her name again? Uh, Josephine. Oh, oh. oh. Josephine. Oh, you. Oh. Who? Jibola. I, I don't understand. Jibola wanted to say Josephine or who? I've been calling you for this, Victor, and you didn't pick my calls. So I've been busy. You've been busy doing what? Chasing the bag? Yeah, actually, you know now. As usual, right? I need to see you. Can we talk? I mean now. You're no longer interested in me, right, Victor? You stop picking my calls and responding to my messages and... No, it's not that. It's just that I've been busy. Busy doing what, Victor? Mm. No, no, I've been chasing the bag. If this is the reward of you chasing the bag, I think you should keep chasing the bag and let me be. <laughs> I, I don't understand. Is this a joke to you? No, you know, I'm just... Um... What has happened to me and you? What has happened to Josephine and Victor? Man, I honestly don't know. It seems like you're no longer interested in this relationship anymore. <laughs> and if you're not, I'm also not interested as well. And I'm going to be leaving. But why, Josephine? Why? You need to choose between us and the bag you're chasing. <sighs> man. I'm sorry, man. I can't, I can't do this. <laughs> See, she was the one who wanted the breakup, not me. And you guys know it. I, I didn't even force it. You, I know you so well. You were the one that broke up with that girl. And you actually wanted it. <laughs> this one. He did not want it, Joe. Baba planned him. He planned it. Okay, just shut up, Joe. Tell me, tell me that one. Okay, 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 okay. That's okay. You know what? I'm going to get you a sister, all the single sisters that I have around. And you are going to pick one. Just tell me your full spec. And I'm going to send one to you. Is that fine? Ah, uh, how far? Baba, you're the wrong motherless baby. So, which one be specking? You'll be surprised. You're the wrong motherless baby. So. I bet no my area. Jubala fan, I go be now. You leave that to me. Just wash out. You truly loved him. Stop crying. Hmm? Whatever is yours will not elude you. You are a princess, you know. Why all this happening to me? <sighs> all things work together for the good of them. Only them that love God. Hmm. If it has not turned out for good in the physical, we we'll wait for it. For I reckon that the, the, the suffering of this present time is it's, it's not worthy to be compared with the glory that will be revealed in us. Where do I start from? Start from purpose. Keep serving God. Fulfilling his will, and you will know that uh, waiting is not wasting. 
the man who finds you in, in purpose will be favored. How long am I going to wait for when time is going? Well, you are not the custodian of time. God is, you know. For only those who wait upon the Lord shall be strengthened. Princess. Daddy, I'm tired. I'm tired. I just want the will of God to come now. Princess, the will of God is not a person. It's an office. Hmm? People may change, but office remains. God is planning something big for you. Please wait for it. It is well with you. Hmm? Take out. Hmm? All will be well. Hmm? Yes, who are you looking for? Ogajibola say, if I reach here, you go understand. Hello? Guy! Afa, you don't see her. What did you just do? What did I just do? You said you wanted a pay van. I sent you one. But this is far from it. I told you that I wanted a fine chocolate babe with straight legs. What is this? What did she say her name is? My name? Na Ekaiti. So? I be good girl. I shall be cook well, well. My mama get canteen for her back. Na dear the cook. And my food sweet die. If you give you jedi jedi. I said they sell herbs. You ain't go kill the JD JD. I go give you the JD JD. I go still call it and back. <laughs> I shall be clean. Well, well. <laughs> you see, all this place, I go clean them so tear you not go see any dust. Okay. So tell me, what's your purpose? Okay, Poso. Na banka they save my money. I mean, what's your essence for living? <laughs> I, I I know they go anywhere. Na yeah, they stay. Ah. Oh, oh Victor, leave Mata for Mata Yazo. Na marriage then talk say you you won't give me. No be all this big big English way they speak. So, where are they sleep? Hmm. I am finished. <laughs> oh, yeah. What up? Get out! Get out! Get out! What up? What up? What up? Guy, I, I, I'm sorry, I didn't plan it that way. Guy, yeah, you messed up. I, 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 no, I, I made a mistake. The mistake that almost cost me my... If not for God. I, I actually wanted to send your address to Esther with some other details, but my phone mistakenly sent everything to Ikaite. I'm sorry. By the way, how did you get to have such ladies not contact on your phone? 
she is actually one of the people that used to help my mom in her shop. She does all this cooking, cleaning and all. In fact, sometimes I hire her. Still doesn't change the fact that you messed up. I'm sorry. It is wife that I'm looking for, not, 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 not a maid. Victor, I said I am sorry. Okay. By the way, who is Esther? Which Esther? The lady you wanted to send me a contact before sending me that, uh, oh, or whatever. Oh, 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 Esther. <laughs> I did to tell Esther. We finished from Jim University and we were in the same fellowship together. She's my very good friend. Hmm. Interesting. Yes. Hey, t tell me more now. Tell me more. That's not why I'm here. So why are you here? Justin called me yesterday. That lady is in pain. She was in tears. Why did you leave her? Guy, you know that I did not leave that lady. She, she, she left me. She, she, she brought about the whole breakup thing, not me. Victor, I, I know you so well. Why did you leave her? Okay, okay, okay. Don't catch me. Don't catch me. Don't catch me. Actually, she does not have what I need in a lady. And what exactly do you want in a lady? Ah, you know me now. You know I like them fine. I like them chocolate, especially and importantly, she must have straight legs. Ah, straight legs. Oh, God. What if she has straight legs, but a scattered life? What if she's beautiful in the body? but ugly at heart. So, so are you saying that I should marry someone that I'm not attracted to? I know that I've not been giving the best of advice concerning this issue, which is to seek God's face. I repented yesterday and I asked God for forgiveness. Let God be your guide. He knows what's best for you. Fulfill purpose and He will deliver your own into your hands. But you see, I have not answered my question. Are you saying that I should marry someone that I'm not attracted to? No, I, 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 I'm saying that attraction is good, but it is not all that you look out for. So what should I be looking out for? Samuel, as anointed and prophetic as he was, almost anointed Eliab as king of Israel because of looks, if not that God intervened. So what are you doing next? What I'm saying is that seek purpose, seek God, and He will deliver your wife into your hands. Guy, you and I know that God does not give people wife again. Since Adam blamed God for giving him Eve. God still chooses His perfect will for those that submit to His will. So are you now saying that I should keep waiting and looking out for God's perfect will? Victor. Don't settle for an Ishmael when your Isaac is on his way. Who is this, sir? I don't have time. Victor, I'm, 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 I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I had to send some stuff. That's why I'm so sorry. But eh? you always know I do not have time. I'm sorry now. I'm sorry. Hi, Jibola. Oh! Jibola. Esther. Hi. You don't stay around this area. What did you come and do here? No, I don't. I only come here sometimes to see a friend when I want to ease my mind, when wow. I want to see her. Wow, that's amazing. You know, I, I understand how you feel. Eh? You know, the whole worry of whether the man is coming or not. Don't worry, the person is coming at the right time. And who knows if he's around the corner. Ooh. Bobo now. <laughs> do, do, do you actually know that I actually wanted to send your address? No, somebody's address. I don't know. I was contacted to get your number and all those things. And I just made a mistake. And I've been shy to call you. I'm, I'm so sorry. Who do you want to send it to? <laughs> Let's forget about that. Eh? Uh -huh. So. Meet my very good friend, Victor. Victor, oh, really? meet Esther. Wow, what a beauty. Chocolate skinned, straight legs. Look at her smile, so beautiful. My heart is running faster than it should. I'm feeling a chemistry I've never felt before. Hi. I'm going to take okay. this girl to the hotel. Please, marry me. Just, 
just to marry oh, oh, me. Sorry, so sorry. Um, oh, okay. So sorry, you know. <laughs> Sometimes it can be so dramatic, you know. Uh, yeah. I like drama. Oh, you like drama. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, my name is Victor and I'm a lawyer. Oh, nice to meet you. I mean, you're so beautiful. Thank you. If you don't mind, can we like have a date later? Oh, sure, I don't mind. Oh, okay. Can I have your nose? Sure. Yeah, get out, Joe. Okay. I don't have time. Bye. Alright. Bye bye, Dibola. Bye. <laughs> Thinking about how beautiful she is. Smooth skin, straight legs. Ah! Oh, God, I beg, God, I beg, God, I beg, I want her. I want her. Has it... Just exactly what I want. Ah! Oh. God, I beg. Oh, more. He's so handsome. All I ever wanted in a guy. And he's even a lawyer too. What will it look like to have our names as SB or VS? No, that doesn't work. What of ESV or VE? God, please. Esther, what's wrong with you? Because you have been missing many things. Like what? I met a guy through Jibola. Oh? You know Jibola now? Our Bible study secretary back in school. Oh, yeah. Interest husband. Yes, he's the one. So, introduce me to this friend of his. He's so handsome, so loving. He's even a lawyer, too. See, eh? Is he a believer? Well. Y yes. You don't sound so sure. Is Jibola supposed to be friends with an unbeliever? I don't understand. So because it's Jibola's friend, it means he's a believer. Abi. <laughs> Does he love God? Has he found purpose? What? Am I supposed to know all this on the first meeting? He'll be a good guy. That's all I know. And you know that's how? Because Jibola is a good guy. So the fact that weed is growing beside a good plant doesn't make it good. Know the difference between a weed and a good plant. Are you now judging? No, I am not. You don't even know him. I'm already calling him a weed. That's not supposed to be found on the lips of a believer. I'm sorry. No. You are saying all this because you don't know what it feels like to still be single at this age. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean that. You are married. You have your life figured out. Even though your husband is not in the country. But look at me. I have a call. I'll talk to you later. Babe, I said I am sorry. Hello? Hello? Yeah, yeah. Uh, hello, how are you? I'm fine, and you? Um, I'm fine too, I'm fine too. Yeah, so I was thinking, can we like um have that day tomorrow? Um, what time? Um, about 12 p.m. I'll see what I can do. So is that yes? No. I'm so, so, so sorry. I'm so sorry. Just don't be late to your wedding. <laughs> so, um, I want to have my company registered. 
Oh, wow, that's good. Um, give me the details. Let me put it down. Um, so the name of my company is Gravi HR. Okay. And, um, you know, we want to have it registered so that we can, you know, work with our operations and do well. And, um, you know, it's important that we get registered because um, of the smooth running of the um, company. And I need to, you know, bring in people and, like, put, put things Can we, together. like, um, go to the registry? Sorry, what? You are the most beautiful girl that I've ever met. You know what? My heart got sparked when I first saw you. Your smile is beautiful. Your soul is amazing. I, I, I felt that chemistry that I've never felt for any lady before. And I really want to take it to the halter. Okay. Esther? Oh. Please marry me. I found a place to stay, I found a place to rest, a place to call my home. There's no more such you know. Cause she's beating, she's beating my heart, causing the fire, my bone, my body, my spirit, my soul. And I've got to take her home. For better, for worse, for richer, for poor. Show my bami dele, show my bami dele, oh, oh, oh. For long, forever, for short, show my baby dele, show my baby dele. Babe, see this. What's that? This couple had an accident a year after their wedding. Oh, my God. And this can really happen to anyone? Yes, so. May God help us. Amen, amen. <gasps> <sighs> Are you done? Uh, yes, I am. Oh, do you saw me to continue? Not that. You have left me for the past 57 minutes, 21 seconds. Ha! Ah, we men. We are always engrossed with work. What's tomorrow? Tomorrow? Uh, I don't understand. What's happening tomorrow? What's tomorrow? Oh, tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow is weekend. That's true. I, I said I was going to... What is tomorrow's date? Tomorrow? Hi, Victor Enag. Hereby take you as my wife again. Before God and all these beautiful witnesses. Where are the witnesses? Oh, <laughs> sorry. Heavenly witnesses. <laughs> <laughs> I promise to be a faithful and a true husband. And with this ring, I wed you again. And all my worldly goods I endow you. In sickness and in health, in poverty and in wealth, till death do us part. Can we go now? Ah, babe, you love pills, but you don't take a chew. I, I don't get. <laughs> take a chew, pill. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Uh, where's my car? I, I, I think you drop it there. Oh. I'm fine like this. Use your seatbelt, it's not safe. I'm more comfortable like this, let's go. You know I always tell you to use your seatbelt. I don't like you not use your seatbelt. Whenever we are going out, use your seatbelt. Why? Use your seatbelt. <laughs> use your seatbelt. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
You are weak now. Where's my wife? Your wife is fine. Can I see her now? Thank God you didn't sustain any injury. But you still need a little bit of rest. But as for your wife... What happened to my wife? There's a complication. What is that? She might not be able to work for a long time. What? Take it. Don't waste my effort twice. It's not my fault. Then whose fault? I don't know. Did I not tell you to use a seat belt? Did I not? Did I not? What? If you had listened to me, all this would not have happened. Even if I had used it, it could not have protected my legs. I don't care about you. I care about your legs. What? Now, you don't have any excuse. You have lost the most beautiful thing that I admire about you. You have brought shame to me. Ow. Ow. Do you know what people will be calling me? I don't understand. Now they will call me their husband to a crippled wife. In sickness and in hell. Oh, just shut up. Hello, Josephine. Please, can we see you tomorrow? You remember how we used to come here to this course? We talked about our future plans, the number of children we are going to have, our wedding names, and even the house we are going to build in the future. What a memory. We, we, we talked about everything. About everything. Talked about nothing. How is your wife? Um, Are you taking care of that beautiful woman? Beautiful? <laughs> Beauty is a relative word. Why would you even say that? Because... It's fine, Sha. I, I think we need a physiotherapist for our broken and crippled legs. Yes, you and your marriage, you all need a physiotherapist. How do you mean? You know, I, I loved her. I love everything about her. You know, she was beautiful. She had straight legs. Now, the only leg your marriage was standing on is broken. Yes, and that is why I need you. Hey, Joseph, let us come back together. I don't have straight legs. I know, but see, see, I, I still need you in my life. You don't need me, Victor. You need a physiotherapist or an orthopedic. Then, then, then can you be one? 
Or can you recommend one? Victor, Jesus is the only physiotherapist that your marriage needs. Only Jesus can heal the broken leg of your marriage. So, so, so what can you do for me? Victor, I'm a doctor and not a physiotherapist. Have a great day. What? You're getting married? Victor. What have I done to deserve this? Didn't I save you? And even if I did, you said you love me. Can't you have mercy on me? Can't you help me? I am dying. My marriage is killing me. Esther, how are you? I'm fine. How's your body? Hope you're recovering now. I'm trying. Esther, God is with you in this. You would walk again. Thank you, Roke. Don't worry, one of these days I'll come see you. Is that fine? Alright. Bye. My princess, Daddy. my princess, ah, my princess that will soon become another man's queen. Yes, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy, God is fighting for me. Ah, who? Why? Who are you fighting? My ex, Victor. That broke my heart. Ah, God will soon fight a battle like that. Then why all these things happening in his life? Hmm. They had an accident, he mm. and his wife, and she lost her both legs, daddy. Mm. You see, princess, when you leave people, or people leave you, well, you don't um, think that uh, bad things will happen to them. Even if it does, uh, you need to continue praying for them. Your heart position must be right so that you won't attract what is happening to them. God forbid. If God must forbid, then you need to pray for them. The more you pray for them, the more you pray for yourself. And the less you become a prey to, to the same situation. Mm. Hmm? I think you get it now. Yes, Daddy. I want a divorce. What? 
I don't love my wife anymore. I am here to sign my divorce papers. But it's just barely a year. I can decide to leave anytime that I want. What really happened? Everything changed after the accident. My marriage fell apart. I couldn't even believe he was the same man I married. He would leave home at will. There were days I had nothing to eat. No one to help me. I am tired. But I really love my husband. But he loves my legs more than me. Or oh, our marriage. I don't understand. Your legs? That was my favorite part of her. Fact. I married her basically because of that. No, maybe, 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 maybe not exactly, but it was a major attraction. Oh, now that the attraction is gone, you want a divorce? Yes. Do you want a divorce? No. Do you pack out of the house because the painting is fading? No, be sincere with yourself. I need an answer. No. And what would you do? I paint it. Can I ask a second, please? Okay, let's assume that you're on a long journey and suddenly you had a flat tire. Would you abandon your vehicle and start trekking because you had a flat tire? No, I will not. Okay, good. Thank you for your sincerity. So, what would you do? Obviously fix it. Good. So, you have to do the same for this marriage. Fix it. If attraction fades and it seems as though the love has been suspended, then your conviction should keep you going. There are deeper things in her that is actually attractive. If only you could look. And I think it's high time for you to um, build your marriage upon the solid rock, which is Christ Jesus. Give this marriage a chance. You should not leave your wife at this time. She needs you now more than ever. You will enter into more danger if you go out there to meet another woman. Calm. Mm. Calm down. See, you need to step out. You hear me so? Step out. See, I think I need fresh babes for you. Just your speck. Eh? Just calm down. You know, easy. You don't want to miss this opportunity, my guy. Virtues in her, if only you can discern her. Her legs may be gone, but there are other things that can work and work in her. Meet me tonight. Mm. This very night, come meet me. I will arrange one correct day for you. To wipe away your tears. So it's just the countdown. Mm. Tonight, fresh babe, tears gone. Just like that. 
<laughs> I got it. Henry, are they come? <laughs> ah, guy, half an hour. As promised, I should be this. You like what to say? Makes sense, makes sense. Makes sense. Trust me, no. I like that. Like Trust me, man. Very okay. good. Hi. 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 Uh, let me just speak to I know that already. Okay. Don't be shy. I know you're a novice. I'll take the lead. Let's go in my car, okay? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. To give you the best treat of your life, you'll forget about all the issues of life. I promise you. Um, Shh. I said, God, dumb my heart, soul, and mind, but maybe not my spirit. But no one deserves this. I got married with the hope that my marriage was going to give me happiness and peace. But here I am. I've lost my legs. I've lost my marriage. Please don't be like me. Find God. Every piece you need is in Him. Marriage doesn't complete you. You are complete in him. This might be the last time you may see me do this. Normally, I would have gone many rounds by now, but I feel like what we're about to do is wrong. I don't think you should be doing this. But, but, but see, I need to do this. Everybody can do it, but not you. Uh, but why? I stopped going to church a long time ago, but I feel you'll be sinning if you do this. Uh, you have to go back to your wife. I'm not going back home. I want to be with you. I am not yours. Don't you know your worth? You want to stood down to someone like me. See, right now, I don't care about my words. See, your wife needs you more than anything. I'd rather stay outside than sleep in that hell. You can create heaven out of the hell if you stay. You can bring heaven down on earth. This is not me talking. No! Yes. Victor, go! Hello? Hey, where are you? Where are you? Where have you been? I've been to the club, I didn't see you there. Uh, I... Alright, I get your location now. I'll meet you there. Hello? Hey. Who was that? 
Victor, leave this place now. No, I paid for this place. But it might cost you your life. The fact that you paid for this place does not mean it belongs to you. If he catches you here, you are gone. Who? My fiance. What? Yeah, come on. Fiance, are you are you are here to Victor go? No, I'm not going. Victor go. No, I am not okay. going. Victor go. No, I'm not going. Victor. Let me see. I thought I was hallucinating. But immediately I heard the noise the second time. I knew I had to run to rescue someone. Thank God the door was opened. I guess the last person that came in left it open. I quickly wrote a letter on the table for anyone that would be coming in. That's so thoughtful of you. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. The rescuer? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, we have to be a brother's keeper. <laughs> oh, oh, all right, all right. Who is my wife? Who is my wife? With the doctors. With the doctor. What? If he had not brought her at that time, I would have lost her. Let's talk later. Take care of the whole situation, please. Love is deeper than lust. Please don't let her go. Don't wanna do this without her. Cause now I'm on my own. I see my lapses. I'm sorry, dear. And can we start all over? I'll see her just like you see her. Cause now my eyes are open, she is my blessing. 
Lord Jesus, I am very sorry. I missed it the very day that I decided to lead my life on my own. I allowed my desires to go before me and I didn't submit to your will. My pleasures overwhelmed me. I lost my focus in you. I did not love my wife as you have loved the church. I chose lost over love. Lord, I am sorry. I am sorry. I choose to start over with you. I choose to start over with you. I choose to start over with you. She was made for my salvation. I choose to start over with you. I tell you, when you see somebody doing something in an extraordinary way, Apart from the grace, there's a body of knowledge. Do you understand what I'm saying? Why does God repeat things to people when he speaks and repeat himself again? It's because he wants you to do more than hearing. Babe. He wants you to become conscious. See, the video you posted about some months ago has gone viral. Let me give an illustration. Wow. Kathy, you have over a million views. I never knew such a video could bless life. <laughs> You know you have so much virtues inside you. Babe, thank you so much for all you do. You're the best in the world. Ah, you make me better as well. <laughs> Where it doesn't look like it. Oh, okay. When everything is looking down. Say, because you don't receive prophecies to sleep, you wage war with it. It's warfare. Once a word of prophecy comes, go to war. Instantly. Because the devil, listen, once the seed of the word is sown, the devil will fight it with adversity. Make sure he meets you waiting at the gate. Not that he's one coming to wake you up. I know you will come, so I've been waiting. But beyond that, there are other wavelengths that is moving to this place now. True? Uh -uh. For instance, Babe, there's radio here. You've listened to this sermon more than 10 times now. Flowing at different frequencies. You want me to True? <laughs> but you will not yes, hear it. Comes by not hearing. because you don't have a good I'm hearing by the but because your ear is not designed <laughs> to pick a at that frequency. <sighs> so once you see the radio, Babe. Then you discover that the radio did not break the sound. I want us to take our vows again. And this time I will not with pamphlets or books, but straight from my heart. And this communion will be a toast to our union. As the sun lights the day, so you light up my world. You you bring joy into my heart. Since the very first day that I met you, I knew that you are the one that I've been waiting for all my life. Straight legs or not. <laughs> you are my perfect better half, babe. So hi, Victor Enna. Hereby take this vow again and accept you as my beloved wife. To love and to cherish. 
legs or no legs. <laughs> and I promise to love you as Christ loved the church. I love you for everything. He is yours and he is mine. So we take this vow in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You go first. Yeah. The fellow is not praying. At other times, <laughs> most cases, there is no petition hanging in the air. You will release the word now. Ah. So let's watch this. Please help me up. I don't understand. Help me up. Well, help you as a ow. Just help me up. B, what are you doing? Help me up. Relax, relax, relax. I don't want you to hurt yourself. I want to be audacious about my faith. Help me up. See, wait, just relax. I don't want you to hurt yourself. What what help are you trying to do? What are you trying to do, babe? Babe, babe, please don't hurt yourself. Don't watch yourself, babe, babe. Please don't wound yourself. Please, please rel rel relax. See, see, babe. Just relax. Just help me up. Help me up. But, babe. Don't, don't, don't do this to yourself. Don't do this to yourself. Just wait. See, just, just relax. Relax your mind. Everything is gonna be fine. I'm here with you. I'm not going anywhere. I want you to help me out. Just relax, please. The thing is gonna be fine. Relax. Don't, don't, be, be. Ah. Be. Ah. Be. Be. Oh, be. You're walking. You're walking. Attraction is good. Attraction makes you consider the product before buying. Attraction starts a relationship, but doesn't sustain it. When attraction fades, conviction picks up the work. For the things that are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Look deeper into more attractive things, like the fruit of the Spirit, intelligence, love for god and humanity spirituality and most importantly purpose always choose faith over fear love over mere lust
lovely too A priest, a king and much more So I give thanks to the Lord That he brought me along To see a son and much more Zion's treasured See, I just knew You were right for my life It is true Cause many signs for this kind But a man from the Lord Is a trust to his own And they shall bask in this bond Unbreakable So if you ask me, will I? Yes, yes and then